Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Rick and Morty to see how accurate all the science and technology in this TV show really are. You make that dog smart, or Morty's grounded. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man! Boy, you really got me up against the wall this time, Jerry. All right, Ruffles. What's his name? Snuffles. Snuffles. Shake. Roll over. Go to the bathroom. No Holy way. Crap. Yeah, you're- If that actually works, then he made a few things. For one, the dog now fully understands English. And for two, it's- uh, I don't know if he's if like the the helmet is actually making him obedient like to everything or if the dog would naturally do those things anyway but either way i mean that's essentially like what pet mind control the government hasn't wanted to make mind control technology for a very long time but it hasn't worked out yet so instead we have robots and the real reason is that if you wanted to control the minds of you know millions or billions of people what you're really asking to do is you just want like mindless like zombies who just do whatever you ask them to do so instead of that just make a robot that's only programmed to do like very specific functions and it's actually way better that way because you don't have to like feed it or like, just like plug it into it out the wall right like there's so many more advantages to having a robot than to create a mind control device for just i mean for a dog or for another person Fantastic, Rick! Yeah, Morty, if you like that. Boy, you're really gonna flip your lid over this one. Whoa, 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 what is it? It's a device, Morty, that when you put it in your ear, you can enter people's dreams, Morty. It's just like that movie that you keep crowing about. You talking about Inception? That's right, Morty. This is gonna be a lot like that, except, you know, it's gonna... Maybe it makes sense. Inception made sense? You don't have to try... That... Yeah, I guess that's... Interesting. That technology looks like it's impossible in sci-fi, but Elon Musk is actually working on Neural Link which is, I mean, not so far off from this. Like, what Neuralink is going to let you do is once you get, like, this device surgically implanted into your brain, you'll be able to communicate with somebody else who has Neuralink, and you can do that without actually speaking, like, verbally to each other. Like, you'll be communicating through the Internet. It's not a stretch to say that those two people with Neuralink who are communicating without verbally speaking and just, like, kind of sending text to each other through their head, I'm sure they're going to have some communication between their dreams as well, whether they're conscious of it or unconscious of it. The big engineering flaw that I can see with this earpiece is what happens if it falls out? And I don't even know if Inception answered that question, because Inception they would like drug the person, make sure they were like asleep and like sedated for a long time. Whereas with this, you're just putting it in some sleeping dude's ear, right? And like I'm wondering how would you actually control that? Because people move around a lot in their sleep. So what if that thing just falls out while you're in their dream and they wake up? Like, are you then trapped in that dream, like, in limbo, or how does that actually work? And I can almost guarantee that they have not tested this out. <laughs> oh no, Morty. The subconscious is panicking. Run! Relax, Morty. This is a really small detail, but there is really no way that that guy would actually be able to kick open that door of the airplane while it's like mid-flight like that. There's, like even like the strongest human being on earth could not open that door while it's at that altitude. For one, plane doors open inwards, not outwards, so if you actually wanted to get it like fully like open, then you have to pull it towards you first and then push it to get it all the way where you want it. And also the cabin pressure inside of that plane is so much higher than the outside air pressure that that door is extremely well sealed. It's not unheard of because, you know, shit happens. And if there was a situation where that door was to open or like a window was to break or, you know, something like that, then the air will naturally move from high pressure to low pressure. So all the air in the cabin will actually like fly out of the plane and it will create a vacuum, like sucking things out like from the inside of the plane and throwing them out. I'm not sure how strong that vacuum force would be depending on the altitude of the plane and also the size of it. If the plane is flying at a higher altitude, there's a much larger difference in air pressure versus cabin pressure. And if that plane is much larger, then it's going to create a vacuum that lasts for longer because there's more air in the cabin that's going to be expelled out into the atmosphere. It continues as the dog army captures the eastern seaboard. It appears clear at this time that the era of human superiority has come to a bitter end. Ah! Please.
please. Please don't kill me. What's she saying, Bill? I think she's saying I love lasagna. Pat is really, really messed up on a few levels. And why? In every scenario like this, the Earth is always taken over. Like, there's so many apocalyptic like scenarios where just we, we humans lose. Why do we lose every single time? Like, well, whether it's like if you make dogs really smart, and like, I don't know if we unlock every dog's true potential. I don't know how smart these things really are if we were to like put that in them. I highly doubt this would actually happen. But for another, it's like every time there's a movie where humans discover an alien race, why are we always weaker than them? We're always like weaker, less intelligent, and less capable. Like, what? Why can't we find at least like one alien race that we are smarter than? Terminator, Planet of the Apes, and now dogs, humans just never make it. But it just, there's no way of like, if you believe in the possibility of like extraterrestrial life, it can't be that we are the least intelligent in the entire galaxy. I just don't believe that. Let me know in the comments section if there's any other Rick and Morty episodes that you want me to react to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.